hi welcome to today's video this video is going to be a bit different than what i usually do i wanted to do kind of like a week in my life but i'm a full-time college student part-time job with three sick cats but i didn't want to just put music here and use captions for everything and i also didn't want to like vlog it so i decided i'll just film it like an asmr and then do a voiceover of it so you guys are going to come with me and do my little morning routine right now i'm just feeding all my cats um you can hear them meowing i'll be quiet so you guys can just like listen to the audio of them screaming Anyways, after that, now it's time to finally pick out an outfit. Oh my god. I'm picking out this little black slip dress, nightgown, lingerie, whatever you want to call it. I think it's fucking adorable. I wanted to wear this for so long, but it's been so hard to try to find an outfit to like pair it with or like a place to wear it. Um, I can wear outfits like this to my job currently, but I don't feel comfortable doing that because we get a lot of creeps in there and I don't need anyone saying, oh, look what she was wearing. Da -da 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 -da, and use that as an excuse to do terrible things to me. Anyways. Just getting ready, um, applying deodorant, perfume, contacts, face moisturizer, <laughs> all the fun stuff. I woke up this morning at like, for the video, I woke up hella fucking early to try and get everything done. Um, because I have to do homework and laundry and make my bed and all that before school because I just don't have time after school to do it. I'm also going to put some makeup on because I want to feel myself. When I put my makeup on, I always feel a little bit prettier than I did before. So we're slaying with that. Also, look how fucking adorable these cats are. Look how adorable these cats are. Oh, Cedar likes boxes, by the way. I have like a whole box topia under my bed. I have probably like 20 boxes stuffed underneath my bed just because they love to go under there and hide in them. Anyways... Now I'm headed over to my boyfriend's house. Monday and Wednesday, we carpool with each other to school. And today was Wednesday. I didn't start on Monday. I gave him a little smooch on the face. Look at this fair life. I love fair life, y'all. And ignore him. He's annoying. He does this every time. He likes to try to, like, look like he's miserable whenever I put a camera on him because he's a fucking asshole, guys. He's a fucking dick. I don't abuse him, I swear. Not on camera, at least. Anyways, I have one class a day, and today it was general psychology. I've taken general psychology for my first semester of college, and then I'm going to go up more and more. My goal is to become a therapist after, God, fucking, like, 28 million years of fucking school. I was taking notes, but my teacher makes no sense. And when I say she means no sense, I mean that she makes no fucking sense. She says things that contradict each other. She says things that make... I, 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 I'm like, what, girl? What are you saying? Anyway... <laughs> Then we went to Starbucks. And y'all, I don't know what it is about this fucking pink drink at Starbucks. But I, oh my god, I love it. So, ah, it's, it's so good. It tastes so good. It's so refreshing, especially when it's hot outside. I went to one place and they made it and they like wait, put like way too much of the pink in it. And it tasted kind of like really sweet and funky. Anyways, this is what I have to do for my creative writing classes. Some homework. It's just world building. It's like 50 fucking pages of building a world i was working with this girl and she was really obsessed with the idea of like jovia like a planet of like jupiter camera. or something i don't know anyways show up oh yeah i can't hit the record button i don't abuse my boyfriend guys i know i said something mean right there but i didn't mean something mean right there just ignore him he's a little bit of a bitch Anyways, what I'm doing right now is I'm putting this liquid, like, oh, it's like a mixture that I put in Bugger's eyes. <laughs> it's honey mixed with distilled water, um, and it's to help his eye infection. At this time, he had an eye infection. Um, this obviously wasn't to stop the eye infection, just to keep it at bay. Mmm, yummy. You're gonna have to bleep the name. I'm just gonna not be muted. Thanks for calling. How can I help you? Hi. Um, I saw on your guys' website that you do walk-ins, but that you need to fill out a form for, like, new clients. Um, I'm filming, like, a week in my life in college. 
Boost of my life as a full-time college student, part-time employee with three six packs. We also got some pizza, because if there's one thing it's, we are good at, it is wasting money. Um, oh, this was Cedar when I was trying to do some homework. He has issues, mental issues. I mean, not just normal issues, but like, like something is wrong in his head. Anyways, then I spent the next hour that I had before I had to start work um, filling out homework. Usually I pick my little brother up during this time, but he stayed home from school sick that day, so... I decided to spend it trying to get some homework done because I had a lot of homework this week, including three essays, lol. Anyways, I was just going to do some extra homework. There will be a lot of time-lapse clips you'll see where I'm doing homework and Ethan is just next to me not doing homework. Because even though he's also a full-time student, he doesn't have half as much fucking work as I do. I changed into the work fit, just like I said, and feel comfortable wearing the other outfit. Worked my ass down the stairs. Also, my work keeps it like 60 fucking degrees inside for some reason. I clock in early every day. My shift was at 4, but I clocked in at 3 7. And then I just started putting some shit away. I don't usually film at work. I don't even know if I can film at work. But I filmed this shot at work. Um, just of me mopping and, and laying down some shit. I clocked out at 8.23. Also early, but I get out early every time I close because I'm a fucking goat. At this point, I'm exhausted, y'all. I woke up early. I'm going to go to bed late. I have to climb up all these fucking stupid ass stairs. Put my bag down when I got home. And then I let my kitty cats out of their crates. I'll be honest. They usually aren't in their crates. It's because they're sick and throwing up and vomiting all over the place. Um, and shitting all over the place that they're in their crates. I make sure that every time I take them out, I give them some loving. Because they do love some loving. And I feel terrible leaving them in there. They're used to being out like early in the morning and then going to bed late at night. They're not used to being in there all fucking day. So I feel terrible. But I can't let them out because if... Like, we are debugging, I meant deworming uh, Bugger and Cedar right now because Skipper had worms. Um, and it's because we weren't unaware that he had worms and the other two got into his poop and got it. So they have to all be in their cages. Here's the dewormer right now that I'm giving them. They have to all be in their cages because if one of them poops on the floor and the other gets a hold of it, then we have to start the deworming process all over again. And it's just a lot of work. So it's like, let's just keep them in their cage until I can clean out their poop. Anyways, they're very well behaved with their deworming, which is kind of shocking, honestly. My cats are really well behaved cats. Like, I didn't realize how well behaved my cats are compared to another. Um, Cedar has a little bit of a hard time with things going, like, in his mouth when he doesn't want them there. But as you can see, he just wanted to latch onto me for some, like, loves and cuddles, and then he'll feel a little bit better. Of course, you gotta give him those loves at the end, too. <laughs> I've been deworming them uh, once a day for three days, just Bugger and Cedar, because Skipper already had dewormer. I didn't want to load them up on a whole bunch of it. Um, and they're going to be off of it for a little bit. However, once Skipper's done with his, uh, he has another round of med medication that we're doing this week. <laughs> once he's done with all of his meds this week, then we're going to start them all in dewormer again in like the next two or three weeks um, for three days, just to make absolutely certain that nobody got worms from each other. At this point in time, it's like 9 p.m., and I noticed these splotches of shit on the floor from Skipper. Like I said, he's extremely sick. Um, what I was calling on the phone earlier was actually the vet to bring him in. As I said, they do walk-ins, but um, when you do walk-in, you have to bring in a new client form. Not to mention that I have no free time to bring them in, and neither does my boyfriend. So it's going to be me, and I'm going to go Thursday, which is tomorrow, my day off. So I called them Wednesday to be like, hey, uh, what the fuck do I do? I'm also cleaning out their litter box here. I discovered that their litter box, for some reason, the poop was getting out. I have no idea. And it was getting underneath, despite there being a giant-ass tub. So I went through and I did the carpet cleaner to get all the poop out of the floor. And then I vacuumed and carpet cleaned. And then had the litter box go through a full cycle. And then I'm going to fill it back up with litter. Yes, I know that this litter box desperately needs to be cleaned out. I will get to it. I promise the cats are okay with it. It doesn't affect them, like, at all. Um, it's just that I literally, like, don't have the spare 30 minutes to clean out the fucking litter box. But then we moved to dinner. And this is their dinner before I, one, switched them from Royal Cannon to Tiki's. And two, you'll see in the Blue Penguin Bowl, I let Skipper have some. But he currently is not eating that food because he is on his special vet diet right now. Then I took off all my bedding and put it in the wash because Skipper had also shit on that. 
And now it's shower time. Do you know how nice it is to take a shower? At this point, it's like 10 p.m. at night. Like, it took me, like, a fucking hour and a half to get through all that stupid shit and clean off the floor. And, of course, I launched right back in to homework. Not a dull moment in this place. Um, I did stuff to get some food, though, because I hadn't eaten yet today. I mean, I had eaten, but I hadn't eaten in a couple hours since I got pizza at three. Um, yeah, and this is me doing my homework. Cedar loves to just, like, sleep on my arm while I do homework. I don't know why. He just loves to snuggle. He's a very snuggly little kitty cat, and I love that. That's why I come in and ignore him. He's, he literally came in, made fun of my cat, and then left. He's a, he's a fucking cunt. I hate that guy. He's a bitch. I just read for one hour, and I read out loud because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to, like, remember it. And then took a quiz. I got the quiz correct. But that was an hour, and I got one fucking assignment done. I have 12 assignments due. Um, this next assignment shouldn't take too long. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably going to take me like 20 minutes to get done. So I'm going to take sleeping minutes so I can actually get some fucking sleep tonight. I, my sleep schedule, my sleep schedule. My sleep schedule has been super off, so if I could get some sleep, that'd be great. So, melatonin time! I don't like how melatonin tastes. Homework is really frustrating because I get through hardly any of it, but it's even more frustrating when I start smelling a really bad smell in the air and then realize that Skipper once again shit on the carpet. Um, I don't punish him for this, like, I don't put him in his cage or anything like that. Or, and I don't, I especially don't yell at them. I never yell at them regardless, though. But he really can't control his bladder right now because he feels so sick. And there's no point in getting upset with a cat that literally can't do any better, you know? And finally, it launches into day two. As you can tell, I'm editing this on a different day as well. Look at this sick transition to get into my clothes. Can you tell that I was fucking tired? Um... <laughs> Decided to get through a little load of laundry that's been sitting on my floor for about a week now. Um, doing laundry is like my least favorite fucking task ever. If I could, I would rather do dishes for the rest of my life than ever touch a load of laundry again. Like, I hate doing laundry. But I love making... Oh my god, I burped. Sorry, guys. I love making my bed because my cats love when I make my bed. And they like to put up a little fight. And I think it's like, so cute how much they love to play with it. They're insane. But my favorite part is after I get the sheets on... Um, I pick up all the stuff off the ground and I just pile it on top of them and they just become like a big cat pile of blankets and clothes. This was the weighted blanket that I threw on top of cedar and he just got, he loved it. He has got stuck under there and he absolutely adored it. Mm. Ah, I'm drinking some cranberry juice. Anyways, look how cute he pops out at the end. I can't. Then it was time to head to college class. Today's class was creative writing. This is probably my least favorite class. I just really don't like the teacher, and it's just such a slow class. Even though it's one of my shortest, it's definitely a slow one. And this is my drive from right after school to picking up my little brother. I went ahead and muted the audio here because I am ranting about my work, and I realized I shouldn't, you know, blast this company on the internet, so I <laughs> muted my audio. Just know they fucked me over really badly. Like, really badly. At the time this was filmed, I was still, you know, working this job, but I am happy to report that I've actually quit. I put in my two weeks, I worked my two weeks, and then I start my first day of my new job on Monday, and I'm so fucking excited. It's gonna be 20 times better. I can already tell the management is better, but aside from that, I'm gonna keep it all in the down low. You guys don't need to know this information. <laughs> Just know that uh, someone, and I won't name names, kind of stinks really bad <laughs> anyways i finally get to the spot i park and then i do some homework in my little car 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 while waiting for my little brother though the drive from my school to his school is about 30 minutes um and i get there pretty much right as he gets out he's always late to get out glad we're getting the cats into the vet because Bugger B right here is acting a little weird. I have them in their cages temporarily while I'm away just to make sure they don't poop on the floor or anything while I'm gone because they're all sick. Um, and usually when I open their cage doors, they rush right out and they go to stretching and playing and going potty. He did not leave his cage. He just kind of sat in there. Um, and he's really struggling to use his eye right now. So I think he's just not feeling good. 
So we're, it's pretty good timing that we're getting him in today because he really seems to need it. <gasps> Say hi. Got the boys in the back. I'm so excited to go to the vet. The results from the vet were great. First of all, my cats are so well behaved. They said that they're some of the softest cats that she's ever felt. So they get little pats on that. This is them after. Cedar was doing fine. Skipper didn't go this time around, but Bugger did, but he was hiding. Um, basically what just happened was that Bugger had an eye infection and then Cedar needed another round of vaccines. And then this was the dinner that I made myself. This is me editing this and I'm literally making the exact same meal. I just had to say that because I thought that was really cool. Anyways, back to the video. All right. After that little editor's note, I'm <laughs> showing up some of the, uh, like antibacterial eye medication that they gave me for Bugger. Um, Skipper was very jealous. He was very upset that I left and he demanded pets. Then I got right back into homework, trying to get that shit done. Doing this homework, the time lapse really doesn't put it to justice. I also end my time lapse, um, some point in there because it makes me uncomfortable having people watching me do homework because I, I didn't realize, but I watched back the footage and I always fear on my eyebrows. Like, I have them, like, I look like I'm angry. I am angry because I'm doing homework, but, like, I, I didn't think anyone would, like, I didn't think it was so obvious, but, um, I get a lot of assignments done off camera as well. I just want to clarify that. I'm not just, like, slacking. This was probably a, was the equivalent of, I'd say, maybe two hours of homework. Yeah, about two hours. And I got probably, like, three assignments done. <laughs> Bugger was so well behaved for his eyes. He's always such a good boy. Um, and then Skipper wanted some cuddles afterwards. And because I, you know, did a lot today and I got, like, four or five assignments done... I gave myself a little reward, which was playing games with my boo thing. I love him. And then it was time to kiss the little kitty cat goodnight and uh, head to bed. He's such a love bug. I love him. Welcome to day three. This day is the day for my three hour class. So got up pretty early, got dressed and ready. I am wearing the exact same outfit currently. It's my favorite fit. It's my boyfriend's jacket. I got me some tea because I'm trying to get off coffee, but it's not really that satisfying. It's not, it doesn't hit as well as coffee does. This is my little cat. I'm editing a video as I film this because I have like an hour before I gotta go to school. So I'm like, let's fucking do it. And then of course I got a cuddle because I love him and he's my angel baby. And I didn't get to say y'all earlier when I took the cats to the vet, cause I totally forgot. I had to call the fucking police in the parking lot because a guy and a girl and a dog got out of their car to go to the vet. Um, and he was yelling at her and calling her names originally. And I was like, ugh, what a shitty man. You know, I'm just thinking, okay, she's just one of those girls who doesn't like, he's in a bad relationship and won't break up with him. And then he starts abusing them and throwing the dog around and he's yelling and cussing her out and i'm like oh okay so i called the police and i sent them after his license plate and hopefully he gets arrested because he's a son of a bitch he's a cunt anyways can i get your big mac meal with a large fry and then a um large uh caramel frappuccino please hey guys just got followed home i went and got mcdonald's and then i pulled into my neighborhood and then I noticed this white BMW behind me with really tinted windows, so I couldn't see in, but, which is illegal where I live, by the way, but anyways, um, and he was, like, riding my ass, but I have to make, like, a, a legal U-turn in order to park on the curb, um, by my house, so I was gonna make it, but he was on my ass so much that I was like, shit, if I make a U-turn suddenly, he'll get, like, I, I could hit him, or he could go and not understand that I'm trying to, like, U-turn, um, it's just complicated, so I turned into a neighborhood I never did before. And then he was still behind me doing that. And then I like looped around the neighborhood and came back and he was still behind me. And then turned back into the neighborhood and he was still behind me. So I looped it again and he was just following me. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but he realized what I was doing. And then he would like slow down. So he'd be slowly following me. So every time I turned a corner, I would just see his car start to turn like onto the street I was just on. So, cause he thought he was being like sneaky or something. I'm like, girl, be for real and then i know the area so I, I sped up a little bit and and lost him quote unquote but my car's on the curb so we can literally see where i am but it was a little bit scary i didn't call the police over that one though it's not the first time that i've been followed it just was the first time that they ever made it to my house before i noticed 
But uh, I got myself some McDonald's, ate it, and then I took a nap with Bugger. You can see his little eye booger from his little eye infection. But this is how <laughs> we went to bed. He literally stayed there the entire time. He just crawled a little bit farther down in the blanket because he likes to sleep down by my legs where it's warmer. And uh, that was literally what I did. I had like an hour and a half before I went to work. And it's like, I'm not going to do homework and I'm not in the mood to edit. I'm just going to take a fucking nap because I'm so tired. He bites to show affection. I don't know why. Anyway, this is me when I woke up. Can you tell that I did not want to go to work? <laughs> I fucking hate my job. Drive to work is fine. It's like a 30 minute drive to work. Can you guys tell that I have like a really long ass commute? Like 30 minutes to school, 30 minutes to my brother's school, and 30 minutes to work. I didn't have to pick him up today because it was a Friday, so I was lucky there. But uh, I want to show you this before and after. This is me happy, okay, before I go into work. This is after. <laughs> I fucking hate my job. Look at me. I'm miserable, bro. Oh, my God. And then, of course, right back in to the homework and waiting for my boo thing to get home. I didn't feel much for Saturday, but this is what the sky looked like when I woke up. I had a really early morning shift today, and I just was not in the mood for it at all. But uh, I got myself up, and I went to work, and of course, I got to kiss my little man goodbye because he stays the night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I have to say bye to him at least. And then I went into my doom. This is right after um, <laughs> I'm freeze framing here because he's using his dirty sock to play with the cat. What the fuck? Showing off bugger a little bit. And then, of course, he made me freaking banana fosters on pancakes. Look at him. He always tries to look like he's miserable on camera. I'm going to fucking beat the fuck out of him. Anyways, I took a nap. Woke up and did some more homework. I didn't film that because I thought I would be tired of filming. <laughs> you guys would be tired of watching me film me doing homework. Trimmed the kitten's nails. They're actually really good about having their nails trimmed. Only one that's bad about it is Skipper, but it's just because when we got him, she lied and said she trimmed him all the time, but she didn't. Um, so he's still a little iffy on it, but he's learning. He's doing way, 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 way better than before. You can see how calm he is. He's kind of just letting it happen, but he's also like... I don't know if you can hear it, but he's meowing. But then Bugger got his little treatment for his poor little baby. I'm my poor sweet thing. And then, of course, me and my lovely boyfriend are on our way to Papa John's. He's never had Papa John's before. So I said, okay, we're getting Papa John's. And he actually really liked it. And then Sunday is our final day where neither one of us work. So we slept in hella late. Um, he just looks really good. So I just kept filming him. Anyways um <laughs> this is me messing with him and then of course he gives that deadpan stare to the camera he pisses me off so fucking much i'm gonna I, when i see him again guys it's on site i'll tell you that much anyways look at how bugger was just sitting on the bed bugger was kind of traumatized i don't really know what was wrong with him but cedar was being absolutely adorable he just wanted loves this is how he sat on me for like an hour that morning he would not <laughs> stop just sitting on me just one in pets and meowing for him and then filled up the girly girl with gas the gas station with the boyfriend of course we had to wear the matching pjs out and i was wearing the cow slippers it was kind of a vibe honestly oh look at our <laughs> what little what the heart. fuck is that oh my god and then he got me starbucks guys this shank i thought was really good he says it tastes like a uh, a melting candle <laughs> which was kind of fucked up anyways he took me to bj's for dinner because I was craving some pizookies and a burger, and then he wanted like spaghetti, and he's like, BJ does it all. It was ass, guys. This was not good. This was not good food. I don't know why, but I got a burger. Then we spent the rest of our night, aka like three hours, where I did homework. He started his homework and then got distracted by the cats. But this is how we finished it out, was just doing homework. The entire week is just work and homework and work and homework and work and homework. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun filming it. It was interesting to film. So let me know if you want more. Rawr!